Hello. Um, all right. So tonight's story is one of my favorites. Um, I'll wait a little bit to see if anybody comes on. Is anyone watching the Super Bowl? Um, we all might have seen what a great job um, Maroon 5 did and Travis Scott. And we'll, I'm sure, talk about our favorite um, commercials tomorrow at school. Hi, Abe. And Abe again. <laughs> All right, well, maybe we'll get some other people joining in here pretty soon. But I'm going to start um, so I can watch more commercials. But I'm upstairs because the Super Bowl is on downstairs. So a little different tonight. So this story is called Papa, Please Get the Moon for Me. And it's by Eric Carl. And I have the mini version um, at home. I know I had the larger version at my house, at my parents' house, but I don't know where it is. So. Papa, please get the moon for me. Before Monica went to bed, she looked out of her window and saw the moon. The moon looked so near. I wish I could play with the moon, thought Monica, and reached for it. I like that these look like brush strokes, like a painting. But no matter how much she stretched, she could not touch the moon. Papa, said Monica to her father, please get the moon for me. This is my favorite part about the book. So here's his ladder. Papa got a very long ladder. Well, Thor's coming up to say hi. Harlow's problem. <laughs> Come here. So what? Anyway, Papa got a very long ladder. <laughs> I imagine this is slightly what it's like to have children. He carried the very long ladder towards a very high mountain. Then Papa put the very long ladder on top of the very high mountain. Now, if we paid attention in class, we know that this is a fictional story. <laughs> Hi, Aunt Karen. Up and up and up he climbed. Here's the next one. I like that you can see what looks like eyes and nose and a mouth. Finally, Papa got to the moon. My daughter Monica would like to play with you, said Papa, but you are much too big. Every night I get a little smaller, said the moon. When I am just right, just the right size, you can take me with you. And indeed, the moon got smaller and smaller and smaller. And like we learned in class, we're seeing him smaller, but we know he's not. But in the story, he is. <laughs> when the moon was just the right size, Papa took it. Down and down and down he climbed. There he is with the moon. Here, said Papa to Monica, I have the moon for you. Monica jumped and danced with the moon. She hugged the moon and threw it into the air, but the moon kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller. And finally, it disappeared altogether. You can kind of see it in the different pictures. She was playing and throwing it. Then one night, Monica saw a thin sliver of the moon reappear. Each night, the moon grew and grew and grew. And here he is again. And I love, like I said, his eyes, his nose, and his mouth. So that was one of my favorite bedtime stories. Um, tune in tomorrow night for one of my brother's favorites. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope some of you get to see it later if you didn't tune in tonight. Abe, have a great night, um, and Kelly and Kevin and Aunt Karen, and I'll see you tomorrow, Abe and Kelly. <laughs> Bye.